With sky high gas prices, more and more people are thinking about switching to electric vehicles, including bigger fleets of vehicles for businesses, municipalities, and even school districts. CBS 8's Brian White stopped by EV Fleet Day today to show you all of the new electric rides. I'm here on the Broadway Pier sitting in an electric garbage hauler by Mack Truck, and these things have a lot of power. It's Electric Vehicle Fleet Day on the Broadway Pier, a one-stop shop showcasing some of the latest EV technology. We have a, a fully electric waste hauling truck, we have a fully electric school bus, some big rig trucks, a shuttle de delivery van. With gas and diesel prices through the roof, vehicle fleets around San Diego County are making the big switch to electric heavy duty vehicles. Huge savings, diesels obviously going up. Lindsay Danner is with the Grossmont Union School District where they're transitioning to electric school buses using grant money from the state. They're receiving 18 e-buses in June and plan to have them up and running this fall. Five million dollar savings, definitely less noise and offsetting those greenhouse emissions. NAC is an I iconic brand, been around for 122 years. This garbage hauler by Mack Truck is completely electric. Four battery packs, which you got two in here and two down here. It charges up in about 90 minutes and can run about 60 to 70 miles. And if these were collecting trash in your neighborhood, it'd be a lot quieter than the normal trucks we're used to. Because it's electric, it's gonna be very quiet. They're fun to drive. You don't have the noise from the brakes or the engine. And this solar electric car claims to be the world's most efficient vehicle on the planet made right here in Carlsbad by Aptera Motors. We've got the solar panels here. Um, we have solar panels on the dash. This three-wheeling aerodynamic design gets up to a thousand miles a charge and up to 40 miles a day of free power with the solar panels. The waiting list has over 18,000 people on it and they should be on the road by early next year. It's no longer in the future, right? All the cars are fully electric. They're available today. They're available to be ordered. The future is here. I'm Brian White for CBS 8.